My name is Michael Matsuda, and I'm with an organization called the Orange County Asian and Pacific Islander Community Alliance. As president, are you committed to ensuring that your administration includes senior level representatives of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders? And how will you accomplish this? No, well, the answer is yes. Uh, and I'm going to accomplish it by uh, getting the best people possible, and those will include uh, people of Asian American Pacific uh, Islander uh, origins. Uh, you know, my campaign has well over a dozen paid Asian American staff members who work in all departments of the campaign. My Senate office has three uh, Asian American senior staff members, including my chief of staff and my legislative director, the two most senior people in my Senate office. Uh, and so, you know, nobody has, I think, a better track record on this issue. Uh, and that's what, that's something that I continue, uh, that I will continue when I'm President of the United States of America. Senator, thank you very, very much. We are told you have a plane to catch, another call to make, so we thank you, and let's give him a big APIA vote. Oh, thank, you. thank you, guys. I appreciate you. And remember to get out there and vote if you live in South Dakota, Oregon, Montana, or Kentucky, or Puerto Rico. All right? Look forward to seeing you guys at the convention. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not black, but I'm with Barack Obama. I'm not Asian, but he asked me to be here to present him at this API political forum. What I am is an American, and that is what Barack Obama is looking for, is Americans who are not white, brown, black, Asian, Native American. As he said, it's not red or blue, it's red, white, and blue. And so when we talk to Americans about President Obama, Forget about these distinctions, because at the end of the day, Barack Obama wants to take America, all people of America, to a different place. He just hopes that you will join him and have the courage to think out of the box, to have the wisdom to see that we can do things differently, and to have the vision to take all of our children to that new place. That's what it's all about. And so it's not about black or brown or Asian American, Native American, white. It's about coming together as Americans. And I am very fortunate. I see some of my, my idols here, the equivalent of political movie stars. When I see Norman Ed in the audience, I have to swoon because he is, he's been one of the fantastic. Yeah, you can swoon too. <laughs> to this day, Norman Ed is one of the most respected men of America, not just a former politician, uh, congressman, cabinet secretary, but just one of the kind of people that you would trust your life to. And uh, so it's great to see Norm here all the time. To my leader, Mike Honda, the chairman of KPAC in the Woo! Congress, and a great visionary leader for all Americans, not just Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, I say thank you. But I also have the good treat of introducing another good friend and another great rising star in America and who happens to be of Asian American extraction. You know him as now chairman of the Rules Committee in the State Assembly, Chairman Ted Liu. Uh, he is a growing star in politics. Well, maybe one of these days he'll have his own soap opera as well, but for now he's stuck in Sacramento. But he is one of this state's rising stars. He is also, many of you probably know this, a JAG officer in the reserves, Air Force Reserves, and he serves our country there as well. Former Torrance City Councilman from the, here in the Southern California area. And more importantly for these purposes, someone who stood by Barack Obama from day one. Let me introduce to you another rising star, someone whom uh, President Obama may decide to tap for something a little bit bigger than chair of the Rules Committee in the State Assembly, but maybe something in Washington, D.C. Your friend, a leader, my friend, and my great leader, Chairman and Assemblyman Ted Lieu.
Good evening. It is my deep honor to be here. And let me just say how lucky all of you are to have leaders such as Congressman Bracera, uh, Congressman Honda, uh, Norma Netta. I just flew out of the airport recently, a couple of days ago. Um, and we are so lucky to have folks like them here. And I'm so honored to be here to support the next President of the United States, uh, Senator Obama. But before I talk about him, I want to talk a little bit about California, about all of you here. And why is it that we're having an API town hall in California? Well, it's because we have such a large API population, one that's set to double in the growing decades. And I, as chair of the API Legislative Caucus in Sacramento, a few months ago, I witnessed the swearing in of Assemblymember Warren Furutani. And when, <laughs> and when that happened, we hit 10 members of the API state legislature uh, in California. It's the highest ever in history, and we're going to grow by at least two more this November. So it's exciting times. We're now the second highest ethnic voting bloc in terms of population in California, and we, uh, I believe, have awakened now, especially with this first ever API town hall. Now, let me talk a little bit about Senator Obama, and after all, because we are at an API town hall, I want to talk about some issues that affect us in particular. Because there are many issues we share with everyone else, you know, the economy, global warming, uh, health care, but there are some issues that affect me and you a little differently. One of them is racial discrimination and racial profiling. And on this issue, Senator Obama simply has a far superior record. And his experience is he has fought against racial profiling virtually all his life. As a civil rights attorney, as a community organizer, he fought for people that looked like me, that looked like Congressman Bracera, that look like you. And in a state senate in Illinois, he passed a racial profiling law that identifies and combats racial profiling. And he understands the pain that we all feel when we are profiled because of our race, because of our skin color, because of our last name. And he best understands what it means to be a minority in America today. That's one of the reasons I am supporting him. And that's one of the reasons I think he's going to be able to become president, because he's going to be able to unify this nation. So another issue that affects us a little differently, you know, I don't think any of us here had families that landed at Plymouth Rock, right? We are immigrants or children of immigrants or grandparents were immigrants. And on that issue, he simply has a far superior record. Uh, he has been a leader in immigration reform along with uh, Senator Ted Kennedy. Um, I hope he uh, does better uh, in terms of his health. Uh, but in terms of immigration reform, uh, he has uh, uh, gone forward with comprehensive reform giving a pathway to the citizenship for undocumented aliens. And on that issue, which affects you and me and our parents and grandparents, he also has a different take on it. And so in terms of issues that affect us, if you are here because you care about the API community, take a look at Senator Obama. I believe he's going to be the best candidate for president. And at the end of the day, whether you're white or black or brown or a shade of yellow, whether you have oval eyes or slanted eyes, and whether you have uh, been here for 10 years or just 10 days, you will have a seat at the table in the Obama administration. I can't think of a better person uh, for president, and I'm so honored uh, to support him. And look forward to all of your help uh, in the general election as we make him uh, the next president of the United States. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Liu, and thank you, Congressman Becerra.